crazy with DIY projects and today's video is kind of a recap because I already have one saddle stand which you've seen the video on but now I have another saddle stand. Hi everyone it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share different DIY ideas for you to make so that you can make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And today I'm going to show you how to make a saddle stand. I'm going to show you how you can make this. It's really, really easy and I know you can do it. So let's go make a saddle stand. The first thing that you're going to need is the lumber and to make this saddle stand I used one inch lumber so pretty much everything that I used was one inch lumber and the main part of the saddle stand is one by ten inches wide and I cut it to three foot long and then I used a five gallon paint bucket to make the round end which will be the top of the saddle stand. Now I only did this on one board and then I took the other board and used the first board as a template. So this way both pieces will be exactly the same. And then I just used my trusty jigsaw and cut out the rounded portion. And after I had both pieces cut out, I secured them together with a clamp and then I sanded them together because I want them to be identical or as identical as they can be. Once I had that figured out then I had to determine how long I wanted the saddle stand to be. So for this saddle stand I made it 30 inches long. So I used one by six inch lumber and I cut two pieces that were 30 inches long exactly. Once I had the main components cut out, then I used a brad nailer and attached the sides to the ends of the saddle stand. And after I did that, I measured from the inside corners of the saddle stand and I'm just going to make one piece that goes over the top. This one is not going to have a shelf or a basket in the bottom because I found I didn't need that. I pretty much just want to use it as a saddle stand. Then I cut out another 1 by 10 inch piece of wood and I just attached it to the saddle stand. So now that I have the base of the saddle stand made, now I'm going to figure out how far apart the rungs need to be on the top. And they ended up being 30 inches long. So then I cut out the lumber. And this lumber that I'm using is one by three inch lumber.
and then I sanded everything nice and smooth because my saddle's going to be resting on the saddle stand. So I didn't want to have any rough edges and I wanted to make sure it was perfectly smooth so it wouldn't damage my saddle or my saddle pad. Once I had them all nice and sanded, then it was time to attach it. And again, I used my brad nailer. Actually, it's my husband's brad nailer, but I used that because I didn't want to split the wood. And with this wood being only one inch thick, it has a tendency to split. So this was a lot easier and faster to do. I know I've said this in my other videos, but I'm not a carpenter, so it's not exactly 100% perfect, but it's good enough and it will work for what I want to use it for. And at the bottom, I wanted to have it more of a standard base. I didn't want to have feet sticking out, so I just took some scrap lumber that I had. I don't even know how big this is, but I just thought it would look nice and I attached it to the base of the saddle stand and then that also gave it a little bit more stability. This is what it looks like when the construction part is all done. So if you wanted to, you could leave it like this. But I didn't want to do that. So I decided I was going to sand it a little bit more, making sure it was perfect. And then I cleaned everything off and I just used some latex painter's caulk to fill in any gaps that I had because I'm going to paint this saddle stand as you saw in the beginning of the video. And I primed everything with Kills 2 Primer, my favorite primer. And then I decided to use the Rust-Oleum oil-based paint for the saddle stand. That will make it durable and it makes it nice and slick and really shiny too. And I was just making sure to get all the little nooks and crannies on the inside as well um, as the outside. And then all that was left to do was to attach some hooks. And I just happened to have a couple of hooks laying around, so I attached a hook to either end of my saddle stand. So this is the saddle stand that I built and my saddle fits really well on it. Again, it is about 30 inches long. This is the saddle stand that my friend Linda made and hers that she made, they have feet which really do help with the stability, but I wanted to try to keep mine more flush and make it look like it was just one piece. So I didn't have the feet come out further. So now that I showed you how to build it, let's see how my saddle fits on it. 
And on this one, I have two hooks. I have a hook on the front, and then I also put a hook on the back. So I don't think you can ever have enough hooks. Let's see how it fits in my saddle. I think it fits pretty good. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, be yourself and be proud of who you are.